Uh, our next speakers are glowing examples of the walk the talk mentality. They, um, they have found problems and have looked to solve them. They do not complain, well maybe a little. They did not wait for others to take care of it or wait for people to pay them for their initiative. One has been involved in the entertainment world as an actor, dancer, TV personality for over 10 years and is currently enrolled in the Occupational and Environmental Health Advanced Specialty Nursing Certification. Yeah. Uh, the other has recently graduated with honors from the Environmental Protection Technology Program at Kwantlen. It is, however, their volunteer work at the annual Vasahi Parades that is making a considerable difference. Please welcome Preetbal and Poonam Sandhu. Hi everyone, my name is Preet and this is my little sister Poonam. When I got the invitation for tonight's event, I said to myself, yeah, absolutely, I'm gonna come there and tell you my story, but on one condition, that I get to bring my little uh, Goofy along with me. And the reason for that is, just in case there's a glitch with the slides, she at least provides a lot of good eye candy. Okay, I do look really cute in that picture, but you wouldn't believe what hair, makeup, and really good lighting can do for a person. Hi, I'm Poonam. I have been avid about one thing in my life, and that has been dance, not recycling, and entertainment. And my sister has been with me the whole way. And together, we actually created this TV show, and we became this well-known duo, Preet and Poonam, and we became East Indian TV celebrities. It was great. But we're also academic, and so I'll tell you about this one story where we went to the University of Pune in India. Poonam tried to follow her Bollywood dreams, and she did quite well at that, and I immersed myself in books. But for both of us, India was where our green light turned on. It was the environmental images that stuck with us, the eutrophied waters, the smog, the pollution, and we knew whether it was our personal or professional lives, environment was going to be a big component. So we produced our baby, Sandhog Creation Society, and this was going to be our platform for creating change. Our first project was going to be looking or rethinking the way garbage is manifested in public events, and we tackled the Vasaki Parade. Now you might wonder, what is the Vasaki Parade? It's an annual event celebrated by Indo-Canadians. It's got about 100,000 people showing up at the Surrey Parade, about 50,000 people showing up at the Vancouver Parade. For the Sikhs, it's a religious event. For Indians at large, it's a celebration of harvest. It's a great time. And when you come to this event, you better come hungry because there's a whole lot of food to eat. And all of this food is provided for free. You're going to have to wash down the food somehow, so you'll get bottled water, you'll get soda, you'll get juice, even chocolate milk if you're lucky, and everyone's favorite, chai. But there's a problem with a lot of food and a lot of people. And guess what that is? A whole lot of garbage. So here's the bottom line. The city, at the end of the day, just wants the garbage picked up so they can reopen the streets. The organizer just wants the garbage picked up so he doesn't get penalized if the streets are closed for too long. But what happens in the middle is this chaotic business. And when all of the garbage is gone the following day, people go, that was a great event, but everybody forgets what was there. Recycling's not the priority, and zero waste is definitely not the priority. So if you're gonna go out and you're gonna tackle an event with 100,000 people attending, you better get noticed. So we made these wonderful organic bamboo t-shirts, which say, Sabdi Sanji Iktarti, which means we all have one shared planet, so we have to work together. Not only did we make the t-shirts, we brought on a partner, it's a radio partner, Red FM. We went online and we said, hey guys, this is what we're doing in the community. We want to try and make the Vasaki Parade a little bit greener and we'd like you to stop bringing polystyrene into the parades because guess what? It produces cancer and sterility in rats, so it might happen to you. How do I convince all of my friends to come down to Vasaki? Well, April is also the time of my birthday. So this is what I did. I said, friends, I need you to come out. It's 2008, I'm turning 30, and we're gonna go dumpster diving. All right, so we're gonna rent these bins. We're gonna get some signs made for ourselves, all out of our own pockets. Poonam's gonna write Punjabi on them, and we're just gonna stand beside the bins and tell people how to recycle. The result? We saved over 200 refundable containers per hour in Vancouver and Surrey. And the soft praise from the community was, 
Well done, girls. Okay, listen, it wasn't all peaches and cream, people. I almost told Preet this parade is never happening again. I'm lying down in front of the trucks. It will not leave the gates next year because people were using my recycling bin as a garbage bin. Why don't they know any better? I don't know. And I don't know why the organizers aren't providing the recycling bins for us. So I guess the only way to make change is go to the heads of policy. So Surrey's the bigger parade. We thought, okay, we'll go to the, the mayor and council there. Well, unfortunately, she didn't have time to listen to us. But the fest committee did, and they're the ones that issue the permit. And they're like, we like the way you think. Sure, we'll support you for 2009. Go ahead. Do a huge recycling event. All right, Ian Williamson, Metro Vancouver. Hello, I need your help. He's been watching us since 2008, and in 2009, he's like, all right, I'm going to create some infrastructure for you. I now have 60 of those signs sitting in my garage, ready to roll out every single year. Thank you, Metro. <laughs> And in 2009, away we went. Now with the city of Surrey backing us, with Metro Vancouver backing us, with a larger network of people feeling sorry for Preet's birthday. She's 31 at that point. <laughs> they wanted to help, and we went out, we got the soft praise, we made it another success. But 2010 is a different story, okay? 2010 said, all right, I've spent enough time in Surrey. Vancouver's my hometown. The Vasaki Parade happens down the street, and I didn't get to meet the mayor in Surrey. I'm gonna meet the mayor in Vancouver, and I'm gonna chirp in his ear and tell him exactly what I wanna do. So, 2010, did I get to meet the mayor? Did I get to meet the mayor? I got a picture with the mayor! I got a picture with the mayor! <laughs> and you know what, Bruno? When he puts on those glasses, he totally looks like Clark Kent. Well, I'm glad our green t-shirts are in kryptonite, because then he'd, like, melt or something. Okay, enough of this funny business. I have a secret agenda. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. When it comes to public events, the organizer should be the one providing the bins. The organizer should be staffing those bins, because that's when you get the message across to people. We shouldn't have many landfills on the street. And if we're talking about tap water, give me access to some tap water. Can I hear a yes? <laughs> so you might wonder, what are these crazy TV personalities doing out there with the garbage, with the recyclables? Well, we believe in leading by example. If the population out there can see these two crazy goons up to our elbows and our knees in chutney juice and ketchup, then they can know it's okay for them to do it too, and they better get started working on the environment. April 2011, I turn 33. You're all invited. I'm gonna need a lot of volunteers. Recycle with Preet at Shaw.ca. Human power inspires me, and I totally hope it inspires you too. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>